I'm Craig and today we're going to teach you how to rinse off your train spine fin coil. First off, what you want to do is just get your hose and you want to get it on a nice shower feature. You don't need a ton of spray, otherwise you can do damage to the spine fin. And really all you want to do is start at the top and spray inwards and work your way down. And what you're trying to do is just get any debris that started to build up off of it. Um, especially if you live in an area with a lot of cottonwood, um, it will get stuck in there. And if you don't rinse it regularly, it could get it to the point where you need to put some chemicals on it, um, which can potentially get costly. Um, so by doing this several times throughout the uh, summer months, especially if you have a lot of stuff that floats around, you're going to save yourself some money and you're going to save the efficiency of the unit because it can cause it to work a lot harder than necessary. And you do want to go all the way around all four sides just spray upwards ever so slightly through the louvers and again just work your way from top to bottom and finally the last side and again in doing this it's just going to help to keep that coil clean it's going to help keep the efficiency of the system up and and uh, stop any potential strain on some of the components so just to give you an idea what the coil should look like when we're done, I'll go ahead and pull this access panel off that must serve as technicians use. And as you can see, it's very shiny. You can see all the aluminum tubes running through the spine fin coil. Um, and the spine fins here, these are why you don't want to use too much spray on it because they can get damaged and flattened. Um, but these are what make this system extremely efficient. Mm -hmm.